Thousands of games come to Kickstarter and other crowdfunding platforms every year, but how would these projects fare without knowledge of the designer, IP, or funding amount? In this segment, Anthony describes five ending soon projects, and Frances tells you whether she would pass. You're not selling this one. Or play. That was a play. That was a play. Definitely, yeah. Hi, welcome to Amp Lab Games. I'm your host, Anthony. And I'm Frances. And today we bring you something new. A brand new segment that we call Pass or Play. Pass or Play is a new segment where I will be sourcing five <laughs> hand-picked, <laughs> crowd-funded board game campaigns that yes. are currently active mm -hmm. and will be active anywhere between 24 hours mm -hmm. and seven to eight days from now. So you have yeah. anywhere between a day and a week to go after these. What we'll be doing is, now mind you, Francis has no idea what these games are. <laughs> she does not follow Kickstarter. I don't. Whatsoever. So I she, don't have time. Yes. It's not that I don't want to. I just. She's too busy dreaming every single up minute new of my day. segments for the show. I, <laughs> that she has no time to go on Kickstarter to figure this out. I just like out. to find you work. Right? So <laughs> I do, however, follow what's going on yes. Kickstarter and <laughs> and look at what's actually out there that's exciting mm -hmm. that I'm, you know, invested in that I would like to see, um, you know, at least get into our collection or, and, so, and others that I'm just like, eh, not interested. Now, I'm really curious and I hope you are too as to whether or not when I read the description of the game and I discuss what it offers and I'm going to try to not give away too much. Yes, like here's here's the deal. Here's, here's the show, right? Mm -hmm. So what I want Anthony to do is to not disclose the name of the game. Right not disclose I'd really actually rather you not even talk who the um, yeah, like so artists and stuff are designers is, I don't, I don't want any of, of that game publishers designers artists yeah anything that might kind of sway me right. sway play my bias I, I will hear. talk about what the theme yeah. is I yes, will talk absolutely. about what it has I will yeah. read a, a lot of what the campaign's offering I will go over the price point of the campaign because yes, I think all these important. are very important yeah. factors in someone's um, decision as to whether or not they're going to yes. back a, yeah. a, a game um, and we'll see if whether or not <laughs> what I what I provide is is enough to determine whether or not Francis will either pass. I'm excited about this because I have no I have absolutely no play. idea what you're, what you're coming right? to me with. So, so um, like I said, we've got five games, and I'm going to start us off right now. Okay. All right. So we are ready to begin with the first game. Okay. Now uh, we are not going to put this on screen for you all because we want you to sort of play along. Yes, um, that's and the fun as part, you've right? noticed, none of the games are listed yeah. in the descriptions, right? Because that's all part of the fun here. Um, you figuring out the game, you making that decision—is mm -hmm. that something that's just by hearing about what's going on in this yeah. campaign? Is well, it you'll show them going? after after we reveal the title, right? After we reveal yeah. the title, yes, we'll be we'll yeah. putting an image of the game. We'll also be like directing. Let's talk more play. Okay, Let's sorry. go. Okay, so <laughs> the very first project here, okay, um, has uh, 22 hours to go. So this one's going to be, and I'm going in time order of what okay. time, of, of uh, expiration, yeah. right? Okay. Um, and I also, hours to go. Okay. It is fully funded. I'm not going to give you amount that it's funded because I think That's that okay. also influences people. It does. People. I think that I think it does. I just need to know if it's funded or not. Right okay. Now. So okay. the story. Mm -hmm. um, is and I'm gonna. I can't really. Get, I'm gonna kind of skip through some of the text because it gives okay. things away. That's but fine, this that's is fine. A, this is a competitive card drafting, um, and play card drafting and and placement board game okay. for one to four players, six players with an expansion. It features solo and family modes in addition to a standard game, which will challenge even the most experienced gamer. Okay. All right. So this is a. Uh, I guess you call it a reprint, so it seems, is what I've gathered, mm -hmm. of, of, of a game that came out in 2019, but they're sending it out again with expansions now. Okay. Right? So it's a bigger campaign. What's the theme? Um, it is in the top 100 games um, rated online. I don't care about ratings. Okay. I just want to know what the theme is. Um, the theme, well, oh, okay, well, the theme, <laughs> that kind of will give it away if I kind of talk... Uh, so okay, here's here's what the, where the story Maybe is. Like a synopsis. We've yeah. just received word from Yana Stormtree that many of her ancient friends had traveled to a place seeking refuge, and now they're in danger. A new fleet of ships has been prepared, and a new rescue begins. And this time, don't forget something, and I can't okay. tell you what that is either, because again, that'll give it away. Okay. So this is a game where you'll be placing. Whoa, just hit something, and I uh -huh. want you to hear that. Uh, you'll place a uh, a board below the island and fill it with 
tiles. Okay. And each day, the fastest player will be able to use their baskets to rescue things as well as other things, right? Okay. So there's it's it's like a tile placement, modular tiles, uh -huh. uh, meeples. Uh, five events will be randomly selected and placed in order. Start of each day, the next event in line will be activated, so it's event driven. Um, are we a, building? It's, are we tableau building in this game? Uh, I believe you're. Well, it's what are we a doing card with the drafting. Right. And you draft cards all day. Well, yeah, it's a tile placement game, really. Okay. Uh, and card drafting. So you're doing a combination of okay. both. Okay. Um, has very cute art. It's definitely kidsy themed. Okay. Could we play it with the kids? Do you think? Yeah, or for no? sure. We could. Absolutely. Okay. Um, so it is. Um, yeah, very pretty. So, does does what I t have what I told you? And that's the thing with these Kickstarter mm -hmm. campaigns. They don't give you a ton right. of information on the game. They just link you to a bunch of videos and say, "Go watch this stuff." Right. And then when you think you want it, come come yeah. back and, and let us. Is know. there anything else that you think that I need to know that's not maybe not on the pages? Um, no, I think it, it looks like your basic tile placement card drafting game. So I'm, um, all I know is I'm drafting tile, I'm drafting cards, I'm placing tiles. It, it kind of reminds there any, me of like, that game Calico that we played. It looks kind of like that. Ish. Oh, really? Ish, okay. Ish, but ish. it may not be. Again, okay. I've never, we've never played the original version of this game. So I think that's... Can I ask what the play time is? 60 to I'm 90 guess, minutes. One to four to players, minutes. 60 to 90 minutes. Okay. Well, now I'm intrigued because I was thinking it was going to be a shorter game. Because yeah. um, I think you're placing meeples on a board and it's, and, and you're doing that probably through the use of cards. Okay. And also tile placement. Right. Um, I would play this one. You would? I think, yeah. So this is a play. It's a play. The game is called The Isle of Cats. Oh. <laughs> Don't forget <laughs> the kittens. Um, it is now currently funded at $1.2 million. Wow, okay. Uh, with yeah. 22 hours to go. Yeah. It looks very, very pretty. Yeah. Um, we'll put that up on screen so you all can see. Um, but... You know, I, I kind of figure, I think we would like this one. So yeah. I think I, I, can, I can support your... You support my play on this one? Your play yeah. vote Decision. on this one. Okay, and, sounds good. Um, I think we'll go with that. Cool, All okay. Right. So, next one. game number two. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this one's, I, know, and I don't know a ton about some of these because they are all ending very quickly. I read okay. up as best I could. Yeah, um, as, as most of us... Well, yeah, because coming into it, you're like, oh, what is this? i gotta, I got to figure this one yeah. out. So this game is um, one to four player, mm -hmm. ages 10 plus, 20 to 40 minutes. Okay. Um, it has cooperative and competitive modes. Uh -huh. And it is, uh, here's the synopsis, right? It's okay. a tile laying and manipulation puzzle game for one to four players. Okay. So um, the creature was was all humanity hoped for, a sentient robot with the capacity of self-improved by building itself new modules to solve the needs of the population, big and small. It was an endless source of admiration and improvement of people's lives, that is, until it started to go out of control. At this point, no human had a detailed plan on how to fix it or even shut it off. Due to the organic growth it had, the original blueprints were useless, and nobody had thought of keeping logs outside of the machine system. There was no guide whatsoever of how it was structured. So. Your, your team of designers uh, of the core system must dive into the bowels of the beast and find its control room, activate the off switch, and then escape before it collapses entirely around you while mm. self-disassembling. Ah. Uh. You can send in an android to tinker with gears and rooms, should you get stuck. So it's like it's, laying tiles. It's, it's cooperative. Cooperative. I'm going to, I'm, I already know, I already know what I want to say. Oh, wow, one. that was a really quick <laughs> down and dirty I'm going to, no, I, it sounds like... It sounds like something I think a lot of people would enjoy. Mm -hmm. It sounds like it would make me very sweaty. Okay. This sounds like one of those ones that would make me like just very nervous. I just be in the right mindset. I'm gonna pass on this. You're one. passing, I'm on, passing this. on this. So one. what you've chosen to pass on is a game by the name of Mechanical Beast. Oh, okay. Um, it is a um, a game that's now backed. Mm -hmm. um, Six thousand dollar goal. It's back to thirty seven thousand. So right. it's got its funding. It sounds good. I mean, it sounds like um, it actually reminds me. It was reminding me kind of of like Clank. It is, but not a. There's no board. This is like literally placing square tiles room by room. So you're right. building out the room. Yeah, and, yeah. And Which we've drawing played, from a stack. It, almost like that night cage game we played. Kind of like kind that. Of like that. Yeah, or I guess any sort of like any that. other sort and of dungeon crawler. You don't really type love thing. those build a room kind yeah, of. Yeah, they're build not my favorite. So, game, so yeah. So that's our first pass. So for pass. me, that's a pass. But oh, for so you, it might be a play. For you, it might you be a play. better act quick, because I think that one was This one is ending, soon. sorry, this one is ending in 26 hours. <laughs> okay, yeah. So that was Mechanical Beast. All uh, right. If you're interested, go check it out. Next game. All right, on to I'm the next one. So game number three. This one's kind of interesting now. Okay. And 
interesting, good or interesting, bad, you're going to have to let me know. Okay. So this is a, uh, a campaign that's ending in 27 hours. Okay. Okay. And uh, I'll, I won't talk about funding yet because I don't want you to get distracted. So yeah. it's, um, it ha this is a campaign tactics game. Okay. Um, with miniatures. Okay. Uh, Co-op. Mm -hmm. One to five players. Mm -hmm. And it has uh, a numerous ways to play. And let me see if I can read. What do you, you mean some. by that? Like so? it has different module type things. Okay. Like, competitive. like scenarios yeah, or I different. Think, well, it's campaign, right? So you can play campaign okay. or non-campaign, yeah. right? Um, it's got new character classes, new encounters, new events to add to the freeform leveling uh, cooperative campaign. Okay. Uh, it's already a favorite of many, right? Okay. You uh, so here's an overview. You build your character. Oh, okay. You choose your path. Okay. Where will your adventure take you with, oh. the, with the campaign guide? Okay. You will fight foes with your custom character deck. Okay. Uh, you will level up after every encounter okay. to make your character stronger. There's 20 different character classes. You get to pick which power you uh -huh. want to create class synergy. Um, and that is it. So I have also, I also downloaded the rules for this one because I wanted to see a little bit more. Okay. Uh, so you're on your round, you're going to draw cards, determine initiative, players take their turn, the boss takes his turn, a la any tactical combat right. game. Right, So think yeah, of yeah, this yeah. as a I, I, I'm seeing it dungeon in my head. crawler, yeah. players go, boss goes, right. you know, clean yeah. up, right. rinse, repeat, right? And then right, you're going right. to go through the boss. Um, it is a campaign, so you're going to be paying, playing through. Uh, different levels, okay. different scenarios, uh, earning skills and rewards and loot for your characters. Mm. All of that good okay. stuff, right? Um, what are your thoughts at this point? I want to play. Or do you need more? Nope, you are I don't already need, I don't there. Need more. You can tell me if it's funded. If, if okay, you want let's to. go back to funding now. So, <laughs> but I do want to play. I will I definitely say, play this. I'm in the, um, the art is very appealing to me. Okay. Uh, we'll throw it yeah, up on I wasn't screen even thinking. Well. I wasn't even actually thinking about the art. Uh, yeah, it's really pretty. I think the, um, the style is... Um, is, is, is right up my alley. I okay. do enjoy this type of animation. And it is definitely funded. It is, uh, and I'm, all the games I've chosen have been funded, by the way. Oh, okay. Just to, <laughs> what, ex cause I, I don't know, to what extent of how, That's true, yeah. how funded they are. Right. Right? So this is a $65,000 pledge goal. Okay. We are at 236000 So okay. it is yeah. well funded. Super funded. 27 hours to go, just under 2,000 uh, backers on this one. Okay. The game is called Adventure Tactics, Adventures in Alchemy. Oh, I actually am even more excited Because that's now. the expansion. Yeah, so it's the main cool. base game plus this Adventures in Alchemy expansion. That's cool. Okay. Uh, I'm definitely interested in this. I think this will be a lot of fun. I think, yeah, uh, absolutely. It, it just looks like it's a lighter I like that it's alchemy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that it's alchemy. Because I was almost thinking, um, well, I was thinking of uh, like our uh, Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion It's not that, but that heavy, I don't think. Yeah, it yeah. Looked, to me, it reminds me more of... Um, like Super Dungeon Explorer, which you've never played, but yeah. to me it's kind of like that, but not, okay. but not really. Yeah, um, that's where it kind of appeals to right. me, um, which I did. I'm enjoy thinking maybe like I think the kids would probably enjoy this one too. I think they would. Maybe. So we'll that see. was Adventure Tactics with the okay. Adventures in Alchemy expansion. Check it out. Play. All right, for me. <laughs> Two more to go. <laughs> okay. You ready for this? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. All right. So this next one we have okay. here is. Um, is actually an expansion to a game that came out uh, a little while back. Okay. Um, it is a competitive card game. Okay. And it is based on a video game. All right. Now, I must say that the Kickstarter page doesn't give much at all with regards to what this game actually is and how okay. it plays and how it how it uh, how it all works. That's weird. Right? So, so what they put on the they, page. They, they basically give you a list of components that are, that have been unlocked and then okay. they tell you, here, watch this how to play video and all this right. is what's going to teach you. How to so play. are they relying more on the IP? They're absolutely one hundred percent relying on the IP for this, which right. I think is the key to its success. Okay. Um, but at its at its core, what the game is basically, um, it's up to four players. Okay. And what you are doing is you are basically, um, you're getting a character from the game. Each of you is playing a different character. And you have this loot, a loot deck where you're going to be buying loot uh, okay. for your character. And you're going to have this hand of cards that, that you use as loot. Uh, in the center of the table, there's going to be monsters that come out. Okay. Right? And then um, everybody's going to take on their turn is going to get to, you know, buy loot cards, attack these monsters, which will then earn them 
Is this, this like one. like deck builder style? Like you're spending cards to you're rolling buy dice. loot? You're rolling dice to fight these monsters, basically. And you're using some of your loot cards to help you beat them. How are you buying your loot cards with other cards, I guess? Because you start like, with money. No, uh, there's money. Oh, there's actual there's money. Actual, so like, I'm coins. thinking this is like like deck builder no, style. No, no, you're okay. getting coins and you're buying. And everything is, the, the whole strategy is in these loot cards. Okay. Uh, because they're going to let you do a, a variety of things. Some so the loot cards you, are basically your mitigants. Well, not only that. Some of them the will dice? give you money. Some of them, well, here's the real core of this game. <laughs> okay. So you're rolling dice to fight these monsters. Uh -huh. And certain monsters will earn you souls. The okay. first player to get four souls wins the game. So you're okay. like, okay, well, I'll just, I'll just try to kill more monsters. No, because every player's um, got these loot cards that actually screw with the other players. You're not selling this one. Yeah, so yeah. I'm going to play a card to now make you re-roll your dice for combat. I'm going to no. play cards that will really mess up your whole fight with this monster because I don't want you to beat him. Hard pass. Hard, pa hard already pass. Already a hard pass. Hard pass. So, <laughs> what was the hard well, pass? Well, let me explain why. Okay. Can I explain why? I think that's Before probably, I find out what this game that's is. That's probably a fair So, story. I, number one, first of all, I was kind of excited because I do, I kind of like the, I like deck builders. Mm -hmm. I like the building and buying your loot and like trying to have a really good deck to fight stuff. I'm okay sure. with that piece. Yep. I like that. Um, I don't like rolling dice too much, mm -hmm. obviously. Um, but I do like games that have like a mitigant. And that's what I was trying to get at. Like, okay, c is that is that the strategy? Is like, let's get some Your mitigants cards are in place, mitigants basically. For you, but they're also mitigants for other players to screw. Yes. Yeah, so that's yeah. the part I don't like because here's the deal. I like to manage my stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't like to have to worry about what you're doing, what that guy's doing, and what she's doing, and like, yeah. and like for you to be able to play a card and say all that planning that you just did to like get all those souls and kill that monster or whatever it is we're doing like you can't do that <laughs> yeah like oh you just won no you didn't like for yeah. me it's just not fun and i know i i have i would have to be in that mindset of like instead of worrying about building my stuff up i have to be more concerned with how do i tear your stuff down mm -hmm. my brain does not work that way yes because that's a pure this so, is take that game. it is yeah this and is that's why we don't play munchkin it's just it's yeah munchkin is the same okay. thing it's just to take that e game with cards and right. just beat each other down yeah and it's in the fun is in people ribbing you. Right, you know, like, right. Oh, I got you. Now. Yeah, give me back. Yeah, that is absolutely not the kind yeah. of gamers we are. Kenzie so might like it. <laughs> she might like <laughs> this one. Yeah, I, yeah. you know what? I th she, she's a fan of Isaac of Isaac anyway. So this. <gasps> oh, okay. This would absolutely yeah. like. I know Harrison would want to play this right, because he's right. a fan of it. But this thing is fun. So this is eight Binding days of to Isaac. Go. Binding of okay. Isaac. Yes, Binding of Isaac, Four Souls. That's the yeah, name again. Yeah, okay. Uh, Five million dollars been pledged yeah, already. Yeah, of course. For it. Um, <laughs> absolutely. 100% because it is a take that a game that right. people like um, and the IP is hugely popular yeah. um, because it's based on an, on a video game mm -hmm. um, that I just don't like so to yeah. me this really didn't appeal to me but right. it's, it's it's out there it's on Kickstarter it's hugely successful yeah and maybe if we were bigger fans of like the video game oh, yeah if I, I loved know. yeah if this was like a World of Warcraft card game right you know, like just like uh, for example there you go yeah. small world yeah. It's a good game. We don't love it. Yeah. But it was World of Warcraft. Uh -huh. I bought it because right. I like yeah. the IP, you know, and yeah, it's just yeah. it's kind of like nostalgic to go and and, and kind of yeah. play around in that lore. Or like our our name of the wind, the Call to Adventure game. Call to Adventure. You, you don't really like the gameplay. I love it. But but like I love the theme the... of Name of the Wind. Yeah, exactly. Love the theme of now they have Stormlight Archive. Yeah. Would love to get that. I love the like, game. But yeah, so <laughs> no, maybe one day we'll pick up that expansion yeah. because I know she loves the game. I love the IP. So between right. the two of yeah. us, I love the IP too. There's a lot of love. Yeah. There's a lot of a love. Whole lot of love. So that was it. Binding of Isaac. All right. Um, hard pass. Hard pass That's for me. Not just Sorry. a pass. It's a hard pass. Yeah. All right. On to the next one. All right. Okay. This one's this one's interesting. Okay. So this one you also. Say that for every single one. They're all interesting. I'll be honest. Like, and I think that's what's well, exciting. Did, that's what's you, exciting you did pick five Kickstarter. out of like how many? There were a lot out yeah. there, but these are all the ones that were ending in 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 the coming week. Okay. Right. So this has eight days to go. Um, and again, like I said, everything's been funded, so okay. it is funded. Um, the game is, um, this is interesting. So you're going to be digging up fossils, building dinosaur skeletons, <laughs> and growing your museum. Um, it's a set collection game uh -huh. um, developed with the Field Museum of Chicago. Oh, cool. So it automatically lends credibility to it. Now, it does. Right? So <laughs> here you charm. go. You're going to dig for fossils, build complete skeletons. See, like this is how a Kickstarter page should read. It should right. tell me what this game is about. Right. And then throw a bunch of videos at me. Right. And I'm, you know, and this is a person who makes videos yeah, saying this, right? Like, right. 
because I think it's it's just helpful to get people to understand what they're what they're they're investing here. So right. you've got to win me over, right? Yeah, it's like it's like Shark Tank. It is exactly. Right. Dig for fossils, build complete skeletons, and grow your museum. A dramatic okay. flood has uncovered a rich new seam of fossils in Western North America. As an ambitious paleontologist, you embark on a quest to find the best specimens that will attract the world to your museums. Fossil Canyon is a lightly strategic set collection card well, game. Well, you just told me what it was. But. With <laughs> unique jigsaw puzzle scoring method. Okay. Developed in collaboration with a few museums in Chicago. Right. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So, unlike other fossil games that we've played. Right. Yes, because we've played a lot of them. The way you put your board together is with puzzle type pieces. They link together. Oh, so, wait. So, a la, like a, a la nothing, New York Zoo or no, something a la like that? A puzzle. Or? Oh, a la a puzzle. Like you putting puzzles. Is it modular? Uh, well, they like think every as piece fits with up, every other piece. Well, yeah, yeah. It's all your standard like little tab that goes into the tab. Okay. You know what I mean? yeah. like, regular, <laughs> like puzzle pieces, right? <laughs> like a puzzle piece. Like a puzzle piece. Yes. <laughs> but so, they're all different. Uh, it, well, each piece is like different dinosaurs, and then you like stick them together, and you. Create oh, as things, you right? like as, as you, you build them out and you do it right. Okay. Um, the. And is that your tableau, basically? Like your museum, kind of? Uh, yeah. Is that how you're scoring? I believe so, yes. Okay. That looks like that's what you're building as you dig right. up these these things. Mm. The um, It has 72 oversized tarot-sized cards of the dinosaurs that you're finding. Um, oh. And you'll be constructing the dinosaurs with these okay. puzzle pieces. Yep. So um, that's about it. So you dig, you take a new card. So here's the gameplay goes, right? See, this okay. is, again, yeah. this is exactly how it should be. <laughs> right, right, right. Dig, you take a new card from the dig site. Will you get all the fossils you need to complete a skeleton? I hope so. You can exchange cards with other players to get the missing fossils you need. Collect all the fossil parts to form a complete skeleton. So you're doing set matching okay. through the, the, the supply in the middle. Uh, and then once you get that puzzle piece, you complete a skeleton to attract visitors to your museum, which is a, another puzzle piece, mm -hmm. and you collect it, and you're building them, um, and you want to see who gets the most visitors. Very I don't, you had me up until we were trading back and forth pieces, because that reminds me of Go Fish. And I don't know how that's going to work it, with two. Is there a, is uh, just, you know, I, I don't, don't know. know it it doesn't really talk. Uh, but it is. It is a. It's two to four. I'm guessing. It sounds uh, two like two to six. Two to six. See. Thirty minutes. Okay. Here's here's my caveat. It's, right. It's very light. I would. I would definitely say play. I do want to play this. Mm -hmm. But this is probably one that I would want to back to get to play with the kids. Mm. Or if we had like my family over mm -hmm. and they wanted to play a game and we've got, you know, six of us that want to play. Yeah, Do you, you, know what you I mean? literally scatter the I, cards into the center of the table. Yeah, and like you're excavating, I and guess. And you're yeah. pulling right. parts out and right. you're hoping to collect enough of a set yeah. to make, because it'll tell you how many pieces there are in the set. Right. I probably would not play this with you, I'll be honest. Okay. Like I wouldn't, I would say pass if it's just something we're, we're getting for us, mm -hmm. but since we like to get games, you know, that, that the kids can play as well, um, well I would be interested. This in is this for us. We'll keep for us? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to pass then, okay. just because it's light. I think just because it's a little too light for us. But I love the fact that they worked with the, with the museum on this one. Right. So and I love dinosaurs. For, so, so for us, that's yeah. a pass. For us, but it's a pass. For pl to play with kids. Yeah. I think this is, is definitely a play. Perfect. Right? Yeah. So how about absolutely. that? Absolutely. Yeah. So if if you're out to look for yeah. something to play with your kids, mm -hmm. definitely hits the mark there. Yeah. If not, if you if you it's if it's for you and your significant other, right? Probably not. Or maybe like a that. classroom too. This would be great for this a classroom. This would be great for a classroom. Yeah, it's a great social type yeah. game for a bunch of folks who kind of just want to play a yeah. very light. Right. Thirty minute kill some time game that doesn't okay. really require a ton of things. Yeah, right? sounds good. Um, so it is it is funded at twenty nine thousand six hundred dollars okay. of the five thousand dollar goal. Awesome. Uh, with eight days to go, so cool. That's a good story. It is funded, so they yeah. will create this game. Um, it looks it looks neat, but I think again it's super light. Yeah. And the whole digging. It's just not well, up. I was said you, you had me up until yeah. like I, I was kind of on this. Oh yeah, I want to build a museum. I want to put my dinosaurs mm -hmm. in there. I want to put my fossils and blah blah blah. And then all of a sudden we're trading cards like Go Fish style, yeah. and I was like, eh. yeah, it's very so you pump the brakes a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Like maybe drawing from a bag of like little fossil parts. That would be and cool. And then you pull one out, and you're like, oh, yeah. I got this piece. I need to get three more. Right, or right. Or, or maybe like, there's there's a mechanism for an exchange location, like if this is a worker placement game, and yeah. you're like, you're going to the, 
I don't know what, what archaeologists do. Go to an ex a fossil exchange oh, or yeah, something. Oh, you, yeah, you, 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 you turn know. it in for some kind for, of credits to do something else. Like, yeah, this like, isn't a, this certainly isn't a game We're not building show. this. Yeah, so we're not building this game. So game let's yeah. go back and, and recap now. Okay, so, cool. So the first um, one was... So the Isle of Cats, Don't Forget the Kittens. That was a pass. That was a pass. I mean, no, that no, was a play. That was a Sorry, play, that was for a sure. Play. Like, yeah. this was actually pretty good. Yeah. And, and, and just by the look of this game, I think it looks great. Okay, uh, I cool. I think that would be a lot of fun. Uh, Mechanical Beast. That was a pass. That was a pass. Just, not, just for me, because of the kind of gamer that I am. But um, but sounds like it could be fun if you're into that kind of under time crunch, yeah. kind of dig yourself out of a bad place kind of thing. I agree with that. Yeah. Uh, adventure Tactics, Adventures in Alchemy. That was a play. That was a play. Definitely, yeah. Binding of Isaac. It was a pass Hard for me, pass. unfortunately. Hard pass, yeah. And Yeah, and I really am disappointed with, with... With the campaign page. Because it doesn't even tell you how to play this game. I know. It just that's tells you about the new. Here's some new stuff, and that's it. And we're yeah. not going to really explain anything about how this game plays. Right. Um, so they're like, because they basically the first thing they show you is the how to play video. Right. Like, go watch the video. And I'm like, maybe I don't want to watch a video. Well, that's what I'm saying. Maybe you're, like, in a meeting at work. And, like, yeah, and I just want to read about it. Like, can't I just read about it? So I actually, I, I learn better when I read yeah. than watching somebody do something. something I either have to do it myself or I have to read it. That's the yeah. only way I understand Nobody's it. Nobody's got time for that. So, uh, and then finally, Fossil Canyon. Is a pass for us. Which is a pass. That will pass for me anyway. So, two out of the five Not bad. plays. Yeah. Three passes. Not too good. bad. So yeah. That about wraps it up for today. Cool, that was so much was fun. Exciting. What a good idea I had. Uh, yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, if you're interested in any of these games, you still have time to go check them out yes, and back do. them. Uh, so head on over to, they're all on Kickstarter. Yeah. Head on over, check them out. We'll be back next week with five more games that we'll see if Francis <laughs> is a pass, pass. Or, or play. play. <laughs> Can we get like an audience? No, no, no audio tracks. All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See ya.